Hey, Todd Martin here with The Walking Code. In this series of videos, I'm doing a fact check on common walking technique recommendations that you're gonna see on YouTube. And I'm gonna try to help you determine whether these recommendations are good for your walking technique or bad for your walking technique. Fact check number three. The claim is we should be using our glutes to push off as we walk. And we should really feel the squeeze in the glutes with every step. This is something you'll see in almost all YouTube videos talking about walking technique. But is this correct? Are we using our glutes to push or are we using the muscles in the front to pull? I'm gonna show you how you can understand this for yourself. I'm gonna to try to help you understand this in a couple different ways. First of all, the claim that we're using the glutes comes from the fact that the leg is extending behind the body and the glutes are hip extenders. And so therefore, if the leg extends behind the body, we must be using the glutes to do that extension. But does that really stand up to any analysis. When we are running, we're definitely using the glutes to extend the leg. There's no controversy about that. The leg extends behind the body with the glutes. But what if I run backwards? Am I not still using the glutes? And when I run backwards, the leg is going in front of the body. So how can I be extending the hip with my glutes and running backwards. The fact is backwards and forwards are determined not by the hip muscles, they're determined by the rotation of the core. So when we're walking, we're not actually using the glutes to extend the leg behind the body. We're using our lower abs and our upper abs along with the flexors of the hip in front of the body to work together to cause the body to move forward. The fact that the leg extends behind the body does not mean that the glutes are what are doing the extension. And I'm gonna give you this little exercise so you can prove it for yourself. What I want you to do is walk in a continuous circle. And then when you're walking, when you get the inside leg forward and change weight, then I want you to continue to walk in the circle and feel what muscle you're using. If you try to push off with your glutes, what's gonna happen as you try to take that next step is you're gonna go this way. That's a push. But as you're walking, if you wanna continue that circle, what you're actually gonna to have to do is pull with the hip flexors to get yourself around. That is what's creating the swing through portion of the step. And you'll see that my leg is extending behind the body, but I didn't use the glutes to do it. I used the hip flexors to pull the body around because walking is a rotational action. Rotation from the upper core, rotation from the lower core, and in fact, rotation from our hips. The combination of those rotations are what cause the body to move forward or even walk backwards. I can walk backwards or forwards and I'm using the hip flexors during the swing through in either direction. I'm walking backwards with the hip flexors, which sounds logical, but I'm also walking forward with the hip flexors. The difference is the rotation of the upper part of the core. So practice this circle walking action yourself and notice the difference when the outside leg goes forward. What do you have to do to continue walking in that circle? Is it the muscles in the front or is it the glutes in the back? I think you'll find that it's the muscles in the front. A major problem with people believing that we should be walking using the glutes is that when you walk using the glutes to push, what's gonna happen is as you try to push off with your glutes on this leg, 
your body is actually going to pitch backwards. That's what the glutes would actually do. So what happens is people who are insistent on using the glutes end up leaning forward from the upper waist in order to allow that push off with the glutes. That is what leads to the heel strike that is heavy and damaging that people who are proponents of forefoot or midfoot walking are trying to prevent. So it's not normal heel strike using the hip flexors, it's improper heel strike using the glutes that is causing the problem. Part of the confusion is when we talk about using the glutes, we have to be specific about what we're talking about. We have the gluteus medius, which is on the outside of the hip, and this causes external hip rotation and hip abduction. We are using the gluteus medius when we're walking in order to keep the body from tipping over to the side. When people have weakness in their gluteus medius, they end up with a walk called the Trendelenburg walk, where the body weight pulls to the side because it's not supported by that gluteus medius. What the gluteus medius is doing is helping abduct the hip from this position, which is what would happen if we were to walk with no gluteus medius action. So the gluteus medius is going to abduct the hip outwards, to keep the body level in single leg stance. That is the action of the gluteus medius, but that is not a push. What people are talking about when they're saying squeeze the glutes and push, they're talking about the gluteus maximus in the back, which causes the hip extension. That is what we are not doing when we're walking on flat ground. Now we do use the gluteus maximus to push when we're walking uphill, because we have to conquer the force of gravity that's pulling the body down. And so there is a phase during walking uphill where we do need to use the gluteus maximus, but then we revert over to using the hip flexors in the front for the swing through portion of the gait. I hope you liked the video. If you did, click the like button and go ahead and click on to the next video for fact check number four.